Hey guys, what is going on? This is Fritz, and this is a pretty cool transition that I've been kind of uh, just really figured out the real way to do it a while ago, and it is the uh, like it's like the I don't know offset transition, but there's a twist to it, so you can see how it kind of it's more gradual, and then it kind of like really picks up and then goes like down again. So I'm gonna show you how to do this thing, and it's uh, pretty cool. I really like this effect; it's really smooth. And it's just really great. So let's just jump right into it. So we're going to get rid of that and get rid of that. So there we go. We've got our clips. And what you all, like, all you have to do is put the one you're transitioning from on top and the one that you're transitioning to on the bottom. So we've got that. And then it just goes and they overlap right here. And right here, you can see, like, that's the beginning and the end of when they're overlapping. So what you want to do is we're going to keyframe the opacity a little bit. So we're going to hit T on our keyboard. So we can see opacity, and this is all going to be done on the top clip, remember. We're going to go over like a frame, like right here. Keyframe opacity at 100. Go to the next one. Not quite all the way at the end, but close to it. And we're going to bring it down to one to 0. So that way, if we're watching it, you can see here, it just kind of does like a normal fade. And that's it. So that's the basic, that's a basic fade. So now what we're going to do is add the offset, and that's basically the thing that shoots like well it goes like sliding down or to the side or whatever you want so we're gonna make a new adjustment layer to start off and we're gonna split it right at the beginning of the bottom clip and right at the end of the top clip so you can see it's only covering the area where we want the transition to go it just makes it a little bit easier and to make it even easier we can rename the adjustment layer to sliding transition there we go and now what we want to do is add offset so O F F S E or something like that offset and we're gonna go to the beginning so right here of our adjustment there it's the very beginning we're gonna keyframe shift center two. we're gonna go over to the end of the adjustment layer and we're gonna change this 360 we can put it to pretty much whatever you want but you do have to make sure um, well the method to do it is you have to hit the star button like if you hit shift 8 if you're on like uh, Windows or whatever and then hit like 11 or 13 or 33 or whatever it has to be in odd number otherwise it's only gonna finish halfway so if we see here's an even number it's only halfway so what we have to do is make sure you hit 360 star and then like 13 and there we go hit you on your keyboard you've got your keyframes done here but it's not very smooth it just happens and you know we gotta make it so it's like that gradual whoosh almost so we're gonna highlight the keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease and now that we still have them both highlighted we're gonna click right here on this bar graph editor and what we want to do is we're going to get this like mountain looking thing. So you have these two little uh, squares down here. You're just going to click on one of them. And you have these little lines with circles. What we're going to do is drag these circles closer to the middle like I'm doing here. So there we go. So you can see now they're closer. And it makes the graph seem more gradual. So they are, it's slow, slow, fast, 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 slow. And you can make them like, you know, just adjust it that way. But that's the easiest way to do it just like that grab the circles and adjust them that way and it's a lot more gradual and it's really nice so there's you can see the preview of it there so if you didn't catch that just go back in the video and watch it again to exit out of this screen just click here on the graph button make sure when you do do it you have to uh, select both the keyframes by like clicking one and hitting shift and then clicking the other one or you just highlight them whatever works and uh, one little secret that makes it a little bit nicer is you should add some directional blur not a lot but some so we're just going to click on it, drop it, and we're going to change the blur length in the middle to like 20. And then we're going to go to each side. So we'll go to this side here and just change it to 0. And then the other side here and change it to 0. And then we'll hit U and I'll show you the, key, the keyframes. So there we go. That's 20 in the middle and then 0, 0. So that's it. That's the transition. Uh, kind of play it there. There you go. It's that gradual, really nice transition. I really, really like this one. It's one of my favorites. Uh, here it is like. I guess full I guess I'll just hit play I guess I don't know I really like that so that's it hope you enjoyed if you uh, do find yourself using the effect uh, make sure you uh, like the video and also if you have any other uh, tutorials or something that you're requesting make sure you look on my channel before you uh, ask for them because a lot of the times I've already made a tutorial on it so make sure you just double check there and if I haven't done one yet uh, feel free to hit me up and uh, tell me about it and I'll definitely consider it so I'm Fritz I'm out see ya